Hey guys, welcome back to the Iridium 242 channel. As you can see, we're out here in the dry lake bed. We have a pretty nice meal in store for you today. It's going to be the filet mignon. As you can see, I do have a buddy of mine behind me. His name is Joey. He's going to be our cameraman. So please stay tuned and enjoy. All right, guys, as promised, we we're going to do some product reviews. We do have the Condor tool and knife out here. We got the uh, hot snot fire starter. And since the last video with the uh, freeze dryers wholesalers went so well, uh, me and my buddy Joey here, we're out here going to be cooking a lot more of this food. Uh, just just in this little couple containers, we got we got the filet mignon. We got the freeze dried powdered milk. We got rice, uh, freeze dried hamburger sliders from White Castle. They also got those as well. Uh, anything from chicken to crab legs, it doesn't matter what you guys like. Hit them up, let them know what you want. The link is down below in the description. Don't be shy, go ahead and take a look. These are some pretty thick steaks, so they're gonna take a little bit longer than those meatballs that you guys see in the last video. But uh, we're gonna have some fun out here and do some good cooking and go through some stuff with you guys. Stay tuned. All right, so from the last video with me eating the meatballs, I figured I might as well just not take any silverware with me. We got plenty of branches around here. So when we're making these fillets today, I'm gonna go ahead and just make up a little stick and go ahead and spear them and flip them over and do whatever I need to. And we'll try to find one a little bit later. It has a little bit of a Y on it. It's for kind of like a fork. And of course we got plenty of knives. This is the Condor knife. Uh, I've been beating it up just like that. It's a I, th I think this is a really great knife right here. Obviously it's a, a fixed handled. Uh, it does come with a little bit of a sheath. And this thing is still, still razor sharp. I can easily skin the bark right off this branch. It's not even a problem. Uh, I haven't sharpened it all myself. This is just right out of the box, just how it came. And honestly, I don't feel like I need to sharpen this thing. It's it's razor, razor sharp right there. Uh, give us about 30 more minutes. We're going to throw these steaks on and get this good cooking going. Right to a perfect point. Got Condor tool knife. I like it. All right, guys, it's almost time to start dinner. Sun's starting to get back down behind the mountains. Not nearly as hot out here now. Uh, as promised, we are going to use the hot snot fire starter. I do have a bunch of green mesquite in here on top, uh, so I can go ahead and give you guys a demonstration. They say it works really good for when your stuff is damp or a little moist. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. It, it will start the fire either way. So let's go ahead and ooze some in here. It says it burns clean, odor free, so I'm not having to worry about uh, putting steaks in on top of this once it becomes coals. Uh, our steaks are almost ready though. Uh, they hydrated up probably about 45, 50 minutes. Same thing as the meatballs. It seems to be the average time is about an hour. Especially I didn't throw these in any hot water. I just room temperature water. All right, let me go ahead and get this flint, flint and steel going. And we'll spark this bad boy up. Start it up pretty easily. See how it does. Again, I apologize guys, I don't know, I don't remember where I got this. It has been my pack out for a long time. Uh, maybe I'll do some research, throw it on there for you guys in the description. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what company, but I'll let you guys know about it. Hey Joe, you mind grabbing that charcoal real quick for me? Yeah, Alright guys, our filet is done. As you can tell, it doesn't look freeze dried anymore. It's nice and plump, you can just tell it's, it's soaked up all the way. I'm going to pour this out over here. Luckily, I do have Joey here, so he can be the cameraman. It's not just stationary anymore. You see, it's tinted red, so it has that real blood in it. It's it's not some some fake meat. It's real fillet. Let's go ahead and get it seasoned up. Here's our stick from earlier with the condor. Whittled that bad boy right up. Nice and sharp. Remember, when you guys don't have stuff, it's a lot easier to improvise. Knowledge is a lot easier to carry with you. 
as a gentleman told me from my last post when I was out there making that spaghetti and meatballs. It stuck with me quite a bit ever since. I've been thinking about that. So I'm going to try to come less prepared and try to show you guys how I'm going to overcome these things. I might get myself into some hard times without being able to have the utensils and stuff I need. But I guess that's the fun of it, huh? Let's get hit it with a little bit of black pepper. Of course, the garlic salt. I don't know about y'all, but I love my garlic, and garlic is actually really good for you, especially for your digestive tract. Minced onion. We're almost ready to throw them on. All right, these coals are nice and ready. They're red hot. I'm gonna toss these steaks on here and see how this goes. Gotta love that sizzle. And again, as I keep telling you guys, let me know what you want to see reviewed out here. If you guys like a certain food, if you guys don't like other foods, let me know. Don't be scared to give me your feedback. Uh, I'm pretty much begging for it at this point because, you know, I am kind of new to this with y'all. And I didn't start this channel with you. So I just want to make sure I please the viewers and get you the knowledge that you guys are looking for. Whether it be product reviews, food reviews. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I'm having fun out here. Joey loves it. I mean, he's a good cameraman as well. So, All right. yeah. thank you both sides of it it's it's a lot of fun just let's go ahead and tune this in to where we can or let's dial it in i should say to where we can get the most amount of info to you guys and, and what you want all right we'll catch you back here in a couple minutes and i tell you this is smelling amazing already i can just smell the filet on there all right it's time to flip these bad boys yeah they're coming out real nice Little snack. <laughs> Joey, you're not gonna believe how good this is, man. Wow. He's over there putting some stuff up. I feel kind of bad. I'm gonna give him this other piece when he gets back. <laughs> oh man. Here, here's a piece for you. Oh snap, I'm excited. Oh yeah. It's a little hot though. Think about that for freeze dried. Yeah. Is freaking amazing. Didn't even know it was free drive. And next time we go to Wheelers, we're definitely making some steak sandwiches. Uh, yeah. We probably only use maybe a quarter of the bag, if, if that. There's plenty more steaks in there. So, all right, give us about five more minutes, and then we'll start grubbing down and showing you guys. I know, don't want to make you a little jealous, but <laughs> maybe Sorry. next time, if uh, you guys come out to Nevada, especially Southern Nevada around the Las Vegas area, let me know. We can come out here to the lake bed. We go up in the mountains, it doesn't matter. We can always uh, meet up and go have some fun, go cook some food, and just let me know. Appreciate it. All right, it's time to take these bad boys off. Went ahead and cleaned out my bowl. Make sure when you guys have fires out here, you always extinguish them all the way. Carry some extra water. It'd be horrible if you guys uh, were the reason that you guys started a forest fire. Be just like Smokey. Only you can prevent fires. Let that meat sit there for a little bit. Uh, kind of rest up. Alrighty, guys. Uh, sadly, due to our light circumstances here, and uh, we don't have a light for the GoPro, um, well, uh, once these steaks are done curing, we're going to get the light on them just so you guys can see how good these things look. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, this is after our meat is rested. Look at that. It's nice and tender. I'll grab this stick here real quick. Let's just pull apart. Look at that. That's nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and dish it up and uh, let you guys watch us eat it. After you guys saw me hacking up some twigs earlier, cutting them up, I don't know if it's due to the steak just being so tender or if it's just this knife as well because it, it slices right through it. It held its edge. Obviously no no dinging, no fouling. It's good to go. That's the condor with the maple handle. Nice knife. Mm. <laughs> That's some good food right there. Mm.
guys are definitely missing out. And I'm actually genuinely surprised these came out so good. Honestly. Yeah, it's like really tender. Usually I have barbecue sauce with all my meats. I think that would ruin this. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to come out here, you guys want to do this with us, feel free to shoot us a message. We'll schedule up a date or something or work for both of us. Yeah. So Joey, I'm sure Joey wouldn't mind doing this again. I don't want to talk, but it's just so good. Sorry. I don't know about y'all, but clean plate, it's a good sign. I think we're gonna start packing stuff up here and start heading out and get back to the house, relax a little bit. Up early tomorrow for uh, another set of videos. Got a couple more uh, products to review for you guys, a rain catcher, and some other stuff from Vivor. By the way, some really good, really good company and some really good people over there. Well, appreciate you guys. Catch you later.